life. Basketball to me is, it, it transcends into every aspect of my life. Man. It's so positive. Yeah, principal of a law firm, junior legal assistant, receptionist, we get in a chair, we're all equals on the court, and let's, uh, let's, let's game on. Basketball is everything to Kurt. It's, it's what he lives for, he loves it. Well, really, how this all came about was uh, we were uh, planning an end-of-year function for our office and uh, we decided we'd do something that uh, Kurt uh, could do uh, and participate in and, and do it very well. And I thought it was a good opportunity as well for people to get some insight in relation to, uh, to how Kurt lives uh, day to day and for people who um, live their lives uh, in chairs. I think this event is one that is going to grow exponentially. This year it was uh, pretty much twice as big as it was last year and uh, I would expect next year it'll be twice as big as it was this year. Uh, if we keep on going at that rate we're going to be looking for a venue a little bit bigger than this one. So uh, yeah, I just really think it's a great opportunity for people of every walk of life, lawyers uh, included, uh, to participate in this kind of an event. When you first have your accident or your, your injury, it's basically a case of, well, what am I going to do the rest of my life and how am I going to cope with the, the daily changes that have been thrown in front of me? So, by getting into sport, it allows you, I suppose it's, it's an easier transition into the rest of life. Like, if you, if you can go and compete and you, can, you travel the world playing sport, you can basically achieve anything that you want to do, whether it's work or study, relationships, and it just gives you that added confidence to be able to, to step forward and, and take hold of life, basically. Kurt come along, he, he, um, he come up to me one day, he says, I want a basketball chair, I want, a, I want an everyday wheelchair. He rolled up down, uh, uh, just out of the blue at um, Brisbane, and we could see he, he had the potential in him to be a good player, you know, and which he is now, he's, he is a, he's a fantastic player. But, um, you know, he, he got to play National League. He was, I think he might have been a, a bit disheartened about it, you know. Um, he got dropped out of the National League team and then he come back with a vengeance. Streaks on three. One, two, three. Streaks! Um, I don't remember the accident, but I woke up in intensive care um, at the PA hospital. Yeah, but basically, yeah, my injuries are um, I've got I had what they call spinal cord ischemia, which is. Um, Lack of oxygen or blood flow to the spinal column, specifically the T10 region of my spine, and that's being paraplegic. And it all just compounded on top of me a little bit, and uh, so I, I took, a, took a leave from the game. I didn't mean to leave it for six years, <laughs> oh, but, um, but that's what it ended up being. And, uh, some good friends of mine who, who continue to play basketball, and Dion, Dion Ruiz, uh, yeah, he was. He encouraged me. I actually got a call from um, Adrian King, uh, just asking me what what I was doing. Uh, yeah, so I sort of put the boot up me, and uh, yeah, I started training to do about the highest level of uh, basketball in this country. Uh, encouraged me to get back onto the court, and so yeah, I got to it. I got back training. Basketball really helps you integrate. Uh, it's a chance where you can sort of get in and not really even think about your disability, everyone's the same. Um, so you're just in there playing basketball. Just, we're not people with, with disabilities, we're just people playing hard and smashing into each other and having a good time. We've played in a few sides now, including like including the Gold Coast Rollerblades. And, uh, yeah, I just love it. Everything about it, the brutality, the speed, strength, skill. The game wheelchair basketball for me is just all about the positive um, positivity of, of it all. Um, Rollerblades in particular, they have a, a fantastic group down there of um, young young men and, and women and they all, the smiles on their faces, just 
that's why that's why you go like there's nothing like i said there's nothing negative about it whatsoever um, everyone loves to play everyone's there for the same reason and uh, it's putting aside any challenges that you have in life you had a bad day at work um, you know anything could happen to you but when you get there on game night it's game face on let's play and that's that's what i love